Nation News for All America. All right, well, Congress is racing to fund the government ahead of a crucial deadline on Friday. If lawmakers don't pass a spending measure, there will be a partial government shutdown. Washington, D.C. correspondent Hannah Brandt explains where the funding effort stands. We are seeing some progress. Last night, the Senate took the first step toward passing a bill to extend the funding deadline, setting up a high stakes vote for later this week. Time is of the essence. If we don't act soon, the government will run out of funding at midnight this Friday. In a sprint to avoid a shutdown. The motion is agreed to. The Senate approved a procedural measure Tuesday night to move forward with a bill to extend government funding deadlines until March, buying negotiators more time to hammer out a full budget. Shutting down the government, even part of it, would interrupt this important progress. Senate Leader Chuck Schumer and House Speaker Mike Johnson did already agree to a funding framework for the full year. Their deal sets a top line of $1.66 trillion, but lawmakers still need to work out the details of where that money goes. We want to move forward as quickly as we can to turn this top line number into legislation. But everyone knows we need more time. Some House Republicans oppose the deal, saying it doesn't cut spending enough. But Minority Leader Mitch McConnell points to conservative wins in the agreement, like cuts to the IRS and COVID relief clawbacks. Serious rollbacks on reckless spending. And it'll take support from both parties to pass the stopgap funding bill. The key to finishing our work this week will be bipartisan cooperation in both chambers. Senator Schumer says he hopes to have the work on the extension bill wrapped up by Thursday. In Washington, I'm Hannah Brandt. All right, well, all food lovers, listen up. We're asking for your help in finding the best of the RGV. And this month, we're looking for the Valley's best donuts. To nominate your favorite donut shop, head to our Facebook page. It's, uh, you can look for the featured post and then add your nomination in the comments section. Voting ends Friday at 8 a.m. And we do wish you the best of luck and, of course, to all our nominees. And happening Friday, there will be a Valentine's Wreath Arts and Crafts class. It's over. It's happening over at the Dustin Secula uh, Memorial Library in Edinburgh. The class is going to be held at 2 in the afternoon in the library room. And you do have to register to participate, but it's free to attend for adults only, and it's expected to be a lot of fun. And happening tomorrow, the Food Bank of the Rio Grande Valley and the City of Santa Rosa are going to be joining forces for a food distribution. It's going to be held at the Santa Rosa Youth Center from 930 to 1130 or while supplies last. And it's two families per car for residents of Santa Rosa only. So just be sure to bring proof of ID with you. It's still cold out there, you guys. We are almost done. But we got to get through these next couple of hours where a lot of our friends on the coastal bend are in the 20s. We're at 31 in Edinburgh. Some of us are still hanging on to the 20s.